Hello guys, how are you? Welcome. Okay, today I want to introduce some IELTS book for you guys. I recently in 2022 I got IELTS band score 7. Three of my skills were 7 and my reading was 6.5. I wanted 7 and I got 7. Okay, these are the books I used. The first one, very famous one, is Complete Idols. It's for Cambridge English, you know. So it's a very reliable source. As you see, it wrote band 6.5, 7.5 for C1. So you can get a very good mark with this book. It has also a DVD or CD, okay, for audio materials. There are different units, eight units, okay, and for example, IT society and different topics. And it covers all the skills, you know, all the four skills and also as well as speaking listening writing and reading it also covers pronunciation grammar vocab it has homework as well okay so these books is highly recommended guys okay don't forget to buy it it has other band score as well but this is the best one if you want to get 6.5 above score the second book is Improve Your Skills Listening and Speaking for IELTS 6 to 7.5. I put all the name of the books in the description, so please, uh, I mean, check the description as well. Also on Medium, you can find me by the name of, by the name of Sana's H. I wrote about IELTS as well in this in Sana's in the Galaxy, my podcast, I recorded podcast and also in my weblog polyglotsana.wordpress.com also I want to upload about IELTS as well. So again, if you are new to my ch channel, welcome to Sana's in the Universe. Uh, thanks YouTube. I love recording videos on YouTube. Okay. The second uh, book is for listening and speaking, which is similar in both general and academic. As you know, IELTS is paper-based and also online. Also, it, it is divided to two groups, academics for studying abroad and uh, general for working. I got seven in general IELTS because I want to immigrate to Canada, Toronto, for work purposes, you know, so I got seven in general paper based. This book covers speaking and uh, listening. It has audio as well. And also it is a very good book with lots of colorful pictures. And it even mentions very useful notes about uh, uh, getting a good mark. Okay, so both general and academic can use this book. It's for Macmillan, Macmillan, okay, CEC level, okay, C1, sorry, C1. Both of these books that I mentioned are C1. Sometimes I mix my languages, I said CEC, I meant in Persian. C1, okay, guys, and this book. This is specifically designed for general, but it has another book for uh, academic as well. And also it has listening and speaking as well. But because I uh, bought this book for speaking and listening, I bought this book for writing and reading general. These books, all, all of them are recommended by my professors. Mehdi Abul Ghasemi and Kiana Rafi in Diaco Academy are two of my best professors. I used to go to classes some years ago, but this time I studied by myself, self-study. Okay, guys, so uh, 
for reading and writing general training it's oxford oxford is very good as well so it has explained all the uh, i mean uh, types of uh, reading materials and also two types of writing but different categories you know it's very useful i try to do them as much as i can you know guys and another book is vocabulary for ielts advanced it's c1 c2 okay it's from cambridge again it's very good it has cd audio and uh, you know uh, it has uh, 25 units as you see it covers many topics, uh, famous topics, the media, uh, rocket science, urban jungle, this earth, this earth uh, and many, many, many topics, okay, that are essential in IELTS. Also, they are famous, you know already, IELTS number 10 with answers, okay? Um, these uh, Cambridge English tests are necessary. I mean, for participating, you have to uh, use materials, you have to do tests for sure, and also participate in mock exams. Mock exams are like the real exams, but not the real one. But they are, the environment is exactly like the real one. So you have to, I mean, exam examine examine yourself by doing tests and uh, participating in mock that you can understand that okay i am good enough in all skills if you have any problem you have to focus on your problems then so it has cd at the end as you see in each the each of the book it has four tests with answers and even model and sample answers for writing and key transcript for listening also uh, from 1 to 16 if i'm not mistaken there are the numbers of these books you can buy all of them most of them are for academic ones but some of them covers general as well for example i uh, as well as this one i uh, used uh, number 16 the latest one which is the update uh, number of uh, these tests for general uh, before the exam and also there are six books guys Diaco recommended to us and we studied these books in uh, class they are Collins okay Collins and some of them have CDs it has one for speaking okay one for um, reading one for writing one for listening you know and two are cover vocabulary and grammar okay they are a b1 a b1 and above okay so with these all of these books you can i mean uh, better your uh, all your four skills as well as pronunciation grammar and vocab also these two books I recommended myself I used to uh, go to FC class as well and I used to participate in FC exam so um, these books are for FCE what I mean they are grammar so you can use it for any purposes for bettering your English I mean improving your English or for IELTS exam or any other purposes they are destination book by Macmillan B2 and level C1 and C2 okay they are with answers you can I mean find many tests and all the grammar uh, materials structures are explained in these books I mean I have lots and lots of books English in use vocabulary in use and many many uh, books but just in this uh, video I want to focus on IELTS exam and then in another video maybe uh, I talk about materials for improving your English generally but this is uh, specifically designed for IELTS
and these are two notebooks okay that uh, are uh, uh, for writing uh, the academy gave it to us and we used to write our writings uh, topic one and two in it and we gave it to them and they uh, i mean they uh, corrected it for us and told us our problems and our mistakes and we have to rewrite it okay so these are the books that i wanted to show you guys as a matter of fact there are many 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 materials available okay on internet even for free you can maybe download some of these books for free or uh, you can buy it online i mean or buy it the pdf in pdf format no matter what material and what books you use you have to have a plan for uh, i mean participate participating in IELTS sorry my bad uh, because you know IELTS is a very important milestone in anybody's life so uh, you have to have a plan and based on the uh, purpose you have you have to decide whether you want to participate in general one or academic one and you can uh, do the paper based or online uh, with computer I mean is easier for you you have to decide and for registering you have to be sure that you are prepared enough uh, you uh, are studying for some time then you register and do the test and participate in mock exam and get ideas from the uh, examiners when you um, they give you your results about mock exam and based on that you can participate in real exam but based on the score that you want band the score i mean because it's from zero to nine and seven above is uh, the best uh, scores but sometimes they only need six or six point five or even five five point five we can't be sure okay it depends on you I mean it depends on your purpose and for example whether you are you want to do the immigration yourself or having a lower lawyer for uh, yourself I mean it depends okay so uh, you do these and um, you have to work on all your skills the difference between general and academic is that general and academic uh, are different when it comes to writing and reading speaking and listening are the same but reading and writing are different for example in academic reading and writing topics are usually about uh, studying but uh, in general they are more general because they are related to work purposes you know business uh, purposes so you do these um, uh, i mean you can read these books because you know they have a structure they tell you first you have to be familiar with the structure of ielts yourself because you have to know for example each of them uh, has how many parts the time because time management is also important guys if you don't consider it you will have problem uh, for example for um, listening is 40 minutes 30 minutes for the uh, doing and 10 minutes to transferring the answers on answer sheet uh, reading is uh, one hour again writing is one hour for two writings and speaking is about 13, 13 to 14 uh, and you have to i mean uh, have to do the three parts you know uh, and for example the first one is about yourself the second one is is a topic on the card you have to give even you can write notes and the third one is the most difficult one because they are uh, more advanced topic about the issues and problems of uh, uh, the world for example climate change and many many 
other topics, you know, but it is related to the second topic. For example, if you talk about the shoe that somebody gave you as a present in the second part, maybe uh, the third part they ask you about uh, different shoes and how, for example, it can affect uh, people's uh, life and these kind of things, you know. So I don't want to talk about specific topics in this uh, video, just I want to mention the books. I highly recommend it, two thumbs up and uh, give it a try, you won't regret it, I promise you guys. And by the way, don't forget to use other materials as well, for example, I myself used um, language exchanging apps, uh, talking to native people, self-talk, language apps. For example, for language exchange, Hello Talk, for language learning apps, Duolingo is my favorite one. And for self-talk, you can talk to yourself and record your voice and then listen to it again and understand your mistakes. Uh, for example, in a speaking, you have to uh, talk naturally and fluency is very important, not with, uh, 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 okay, so, and also you can listen to music, film, series, but mostly documentaries, David Attenborough's, for example, documentaries about nature and animals are recommended, and uh, news, CNN, BBC, and even British Council and BBC Learning English, these uh, websites are the best, they have YouTube channels as well. I mean, you can find any material on YouTube, different channels about IELTS. For example, Fast Track IELTS Asia is uh, very good. I used to watch her videos as well. Uh, she got uh, a good mark herself and she has been teaching for many years. You know, reading books, news, I mean, uh, uh, writing a diary or keeping a journal I mean any kind of activity can improve your English but it's better you have a plan for IELTS because IELTS is different from just improving your English you have to know the techniques you have to be familiar with the structure of the exam and uh, some topics are more important in IELTS exam so for example because of that I say news and documentaries are better in comparison to movies and series for IELTS but for improving your English you can use any material any audio any podcast I mean even there are podcasts for IELTS and you know try to work on your pronunciation repeat repeat out loud and write uh, if you want to participate in online uh, version you have to type very fast and for a uh, paper based you have to write very fast your own handwriting and um, maybe I forgot to mention all the important things but uh, if you ask uh, if you know I mean if you have any problem please ask me in the comments I will answer you for sure please subscribe leave comments share this video with others and like if you like it and uh, I said but again I say please 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 subscribe because in that case you can help me my channel grow and support me in this way you know so please uh, help me and I will uh, record many many videos for you guys later uh, please don't hesitate if you agree with my points of view say if you don't agree again uh, say it uh, respectfully <laughs> but I'm uh, I like criticism so I will uh, surely read all your comments and pay attention to them and uh, feel free and don't hesitate okay and uh, I don't want my video to be very long because uploading on YouTube will be difficult if it's so long and you will be tired so to sum it up, uh, have a plan and uh, use materials that suits you because everybody's uh, taste is different and also, I mean, get help from 
the people who have experience and participated in IELTS exam. Uh, I mean, you can uh, search about IELTS and you can, you can get many ideas from other people about the uh, day of the exam, about the uh, materials, about anything, you know. But don't forget, try to be calm, especially during the speak, speaking part and try to, I mean, forget the stress you can get a good mark believe in yourself and watch my other videos about learning languages and uh, traveling to different countries and wish me good luck please because i want to immigrate and need your uh, need your prayers also pray my grandparents they are sick due to pandemic especially my grandfather uh, who is hospital hospitalized Please pray for them. Please pray who are dealing with floods, uh, who are dead, injured, or uh, missed during floods in Iran and other countries. And also for people who are uh, dealing with uh, pandemic. I mean, uh, in this world, I hope peace for everyone. And bye-bye for now.